Hello everyone, this is Spoiler Lab. Today we will be talking about the 2017 fantasy movie called Dave Made a Maze. A voice asks a guy named Dave why he built a maze. Dave gets mad at the interviewer but replies that he wanted to do something great. And if he would be allowed to finish it, he would take responsibility for all the people who died because of the labyrinth. The story takes us a few days back, when Annie, Dave's girlfriend, returns home from a business trip. To her surprise, a structure made of boxes had appeared in the middle of their apartment, from which her boyfriend's voice is heard. Dave tells Annie that he built a maze and plans to keep it in the house for a while longer. She thinks the cardboard structure is just another weird Dave thing, so she doesn't even react and goes to the shower. After a while, Annie returns to the living room and asks how long Dave has been working on the maze. He responds that he has been inside for three days and cannot get out because he got lost. Annie offers to just destroy the structure, but he refuses to break what he spent so much time creating. Excited, Annie wants to go inside the labyrinth, but Dave forbids her from doing so, as the structure is not yet completed and it can be dangerous. Annie calls him a jerk and starts shaking the maze. From the sounds coming from under the boxes, it seems that an earthquake happened inside and Dave in a panic asks her never to do that again. Annie is annoyed and wants to break the maze, but he asks to find another way out and to call his friend Gordon. After Gordon's arrival, Dave enthusiastically tells him about the labyrinth and says that he started building it from the middle, but eventually got lost. Gordon is suspicious of his story, but gets assured that the labyrinth is bigger inside than it seems from the outside. Annie thanks Gordon for coming to visit his friend and they ironically begin to discuss how Dave is peeing in the maze. He says that he has not eaten for a long time. These words seriously disturb her and she asks Dave if he is sure he is alright. He confesses that he hurt his hand. Gordon tries to lift the boxes up so Dave can get out from under them but he says that he firmly nailed them to the floor. Then Gordon starts knocking on the boxes and Dave tries to find the way out of the maze, focusing on the sounds of the knocking. But the escape ends in failure, because he gets lost in the maze again. He says that he built too intricate of a structure and it is not so easy to get out of it. Gordon decides to call another friend of theirs, Leonard. Despite the fact that Dave only allowed Leonard to know about the maze, a few more people come to the house. Gordon tells him that other friends have also joined them. Harry with a film crew who plans to shoot a documentary about Dave's maze, Bryn, Greg, and Jane. Gordon also called some tourists and a homeless person from the street. Everyone wants to look at the amazing structure and find out how someone could get lost in there and why he can't get out. Leonard offers to get Dave out, but he again warns him of the danger and says that he has built many traps inside, so they would not be able to hold out even for a minute. Leonard thinks everything is just a big joke and is going to leave. Dave apologizes to Annie for not being able to get out of the maze. He says that he misses her, to which she replies that she misses him too. These words echo through the maze and overtake the exhausted Dave somewhere in the bowels of the boxes. Annie decides to follow Dave into the maze. Everyone in the room perceives this as a green light and enters the maze first, so that only the bum remained outside. Once inside, they are surprised to find that the maze really was much larger than it looked from the outside. Dave's friends make their way further along the cardboard corridors and admire with delight what Dave managed to build all this time. Each room inside the labyrinth is decorated in a different style. There is a room decorated with playing cards and a corridor with walls in the form of piano keys. They find themselves in a room filled with paper. At the end of the room is a cardboard head that spews out a variety of paper and origami. Suddenly, they are attacked by origami in the form of a large red bird. To avoid getting attacked or even buried under the rubble of paper, they all climb into the head of a cardboard statue and get out into another room. Meanwhile, Leonard returns to Dave's apartment and goes inside the maze as well. After the killer origami room, everyone is shocked. Harry seizes the moment and tries to record an interview with Annie, in which he asks her when Dave managed to learn how to bring inanimate objects to life and wonders if her boyfriend is dear to her. The interrogation is interrupted by Jane bursting into the room. She accidentally steps on a trap and sets off a mechanism made of cardboard, which cuts off her head. Instead of blood, threads squirt from her neck like a fountain. Horrified by what happened, the group runs further through the maze. While everyone tries to figure out why Dave created the deadly obstacles, Greg and Bryn play hide and seek in another part of the maze. Greg does not notice another trap and pays for it with his life. Frightened, Bryn finds the rest of the group and tells her friends about what happened to Greg. They decide to figure out what they are dealing with by going to the place where he died. But they discover that his body has disappeared somewhere. On the cardboard floor, they notice hoof marks. Gordon suggests that Dave has created a minotaur that guards the maze and feeds on the corpses of the slain. Annie decides to cut a hole in the wall with a paper cutter. With each cut, the wind intensifies inside the room. Everyone managed to get into another room, but Bryn is killed by the Minotaur. Then the monster starts chasing everyone else. Suddenly, Dave joins them and takes them to another room, which is made up of optical illusions. He tells his friends that they should not have entered the maze and that he did not expect that it would come to the point of people dying from his creation. After, he offers everyone to get inside of a gift box which ended up being a tube to another room. After flying out of the tube, 
They become cardboard. The Minotaur following them enters the room and begins chasing them. Having overcome the traps, they fall into another pipe and find themselves in a new room in human form. To protect his friends from the Minotaur, Dave hangs a towel on the aisle. He says that only this can stop the Minotaur for a while. Despite everything happening, Dave does not want to destroy the maze and invites his friends to complete it together. He believes that the maze has become dangerous only because it was not finished yet. Annie does not support this idea and tells him that they need to get out of there. Dave tells her that you can't cut your own passage, as this will immediately call the Minotaur to them. He takes his friends to the next room with music, multicolored light bulbs and a spotlight. The screen is playing a documentary that the friends filmed together in the past. They indulge in memories and voice comical scenes from movies. In one of the rooms, they discover a corridor resembling female genitalia. At the end of the corridor, a bright light glows enticingly and everyone wants to get closer to it. Dave stops his friends and removes the glove from his injured hand. It turns out that he also wanted to touch the light, and because of this, his hand turned into paper mache. They go further and finally see the way out of the maze. Happily, they go towards it, but end up in a new room. During their time there, the maze has grown even more and it has now become almost impossible to find a way out. Dave suggests luring the Minotaur into the female genital room and turning it into cardboard. He is sure that after he will be able to turn off the traps and together they will be able to finish the maze. His friends do not share the same enthusiasm. Harry decides to interview Dave, which we saw at the beginning of the story. In it, he talks about the real reason that he built the maze. Dave is going through a personal crisis and was trying to do at least something worthwhile. He was tired of being broke, constantly looking for a job, and at 30 still taking money from his parents. He does not want his loved ones to consider him spineless, and does not want to show his anger. The maze became the personification of the feelings that he experiences inside himself every day. Annie finally decides to support him in finding a solution that will help them get out of the maze. Their discussion is interrupted by the Minotaur, who is trying to break into their room. Gordon and the boom operator use their weight to block the entrance. They with the others they run into another room. Annie offers to find the heart of the labyrinth and destroy it. Gordon recalls how Dave said that he started building the maze from the center, so that's where the weak point of the structure may be. But Dave admits to his friends that he did not build such a place because he did not want someone to destroy it. Annie tells Dave that people go through what he is feeling right now every day, and he has to deal with it in order to do something worthwhile, like saving the lives of your friends. Dave says the maze is the only thing he's ever started that's worth finishing. Annie suggests to Dave that they finish building the maze and make a weak spot in it so that they can escape. Inspired by the words of his beloved, Dave leads his friends to the center of the maze. In one of the rooms they find Bryn, who is now made of paper. She tries to call her friends over to high-five her. Dave says they can't wait and they need to move on, otherwise the maze will get even bigger. He asks his friends to make sure that Bryn does not get out of the room while he and Annie go further. Harry decides it's Bryn's turn to be interviewed. Gordon asks her why they are here, to which she replies that life is full of unfinished moments from which there is no way out. Meanwhile, Dave and Annie end up at a table in their kitchen. The maze, through the repetitive dialogue of the couple, shows how their relationship was in crisis. Dave felt that Annie was unhappy, that he was in constant search of himself. They quarreled and did not understand each other. They sit by candlelight and Dave says he's afraid he and Annie don't have anything else, to which she replies that everything will be fine with them and looks at him with loving eyes. Dave blows out the candle and says he's looking for a way out. The couple find themselves back in the maze, where Annie lights a lantern, illuminating the room. The group continue to distract Bryn. She tells them about the Minotaur and says that he only wants more human blood to be free. By joining forces, Annie and Dave create a cocoon in the center of the maze, which should become a weak point. He takes out a samurai sword and warns Annie that as soon as she pierces the wall with her sword, the Minotaur will come for them. She kisses Dave and confesses her love to him, after which she plunges a sword into the wall. Taking advantage of the moment, the group throws a rope around Bryn. She turns into a giant hand and tries to free herself, taking the boom operator underground with her. Annie strikes again and something like blood begins to flow out of the maze. Annie and Dave run into a new room and he says that the cocoon needs to be spun to destroy the maze. Annie finds a music player and places something on it. While all of this is happening, the Minotaur is chasing the remaining friends, but they manage to escape. Unwinding, the cocoon begins to open and glow. The maze fights back and activates new traps that kill Leonard, who had been following them the whole time. Dave cuts out the heart of the cocoon with his sword, which finally destroys the labyrinth. The surviving friends finally get out. They begin clearing the rubble and cleaning up the apartment as Harry continues to document everything on his phone camera. Before leaving, he asks Dave to come up with a name for the movie, and he suggests Dave made a maze. At the end of the story, he takes the remains of the maze to the trash and a minotaur comes out from under them. That's all friends. Thank you for watching. Share your thoughts about the movie in the comments and leave your suggestions for which movie you want to see next.